If you see anything that you love on the car, let me know. If you see anything that you hate on the car, let me know. Hey everybody, today we are going to be doing a walk around and mod list on my 2014 Grand Touring. So let's get right into the mod list and since we're out here, we can start with the exterior and the first thing uh, that you probably noticed is that it is slammed on the ground and that is courtesy of Airlift 3H. Most people are familiar with 3P but with the 3H, it also includes the height sensors. So if you have an uneven load, it will self level itself out. So that is helpful when you are carrying passengers or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it. keep adjusting your pressure. It will adjust itself and it is pretty handy. Next thing you may notice are the wheels. Uh, these are weds, cranes, rat zingers. And these are 19 by 10 and a half. And we have 19 by 10 in the front. I'm running 235 35s in the front and 245 45s in the rear. These are floating center caps. So as I'm rolling, the center caps don't move. They just float in the same position. And they're pretty cool. So I do have a custom, what I believe to be is a one-off fiber uh, carbon fiber grill. I got this from a guy in California that had a 2014 Mazda 6 and it fits perfectly and it looks beautiful. Uh, most people have the MV tuning three bar grill, but I will say this looks pretty cool. And speaking of MV tuning, I do have some of their aero. So I have their splitter kit in the front, which is nice. Side splitters as well. their rear fangs, their rear bumper protector. While we're down here, I have a rear diffuser for quiet tips. Got it off AliExpress. It also, do, it also does have the third brake light. And then I have quad tip exhaust that I got from Amazon. And that is connected to a cork sport axle back. And it sounds pretty good. I have the Sunrise tuning uh, Doug Bill. And it adds a little bit to the back without being too aggressive. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Right below it, I have the stock tail lights that has a gray metallic pinstripe. And they've been on here for about four years, five years. And it's holding up pretty good. Looks custom without the custom price. I do have like the rear, I don't know what to call these things, but I like how they look. A lot of people absolutely hate them. And I do have the eBay uh, whale visors. And if you do notice, I do have a teal or turquoise pinstripe to match my painted brake calipers. And also from Envy Tuning, I do have their eyelids that I had painted. You know, hasn't held up all that well. Maybe the prep wasn't good, I don't know. But the eyelids do add a little bit of aggression um, to the front of the car. And then I do have the IJDM fog light DRLs and I do have the Morimoto LED fog light units and they are 100 times better than the OEM units. And also I do have the LED bumper lights as well uh, from the factory. It's just a reflector and I treated them with the same pinstriping uh, that I did on the tail light. Let's move to the interior. For the interior, the first thing you'll probably notice is red interior and the fact that the Mazda does not come with a red interior. These are seat covers from EKR Cover. I will have a link and a discount code in the description because these are some of the best fitting seat covers I've ever seen. And you let me know in the comments below if you've seen any seat covers that fit better than these. I do have paddle shifters that I got off eBay. They're like a aluminum. Uh, I do have a stitched um, steering wheel cover. I got the perforated because my factory seats are perforated and I got the red stitching because since I have a GT, it has all the factory red stitching. So it looks pretty good and it flows with the car. Uh, as you can see, I have my Dares Bill stickers and QR code. I have my airlift controller. I have a uh, red and chrome accents that I got off of eBay. I do have the Sky Active red accents inside of the door handle. And then I also have my little shifter hoodie 
that I got off Amazon. This is not a stock shifter. If I remove my hoodie man, this is actually a auto EXC shifter. And the cool thing with this is that it doesn't have a button. For you to put it in gear, you take this one and you push it down and then you put it in gear and then you push it down to put it in park got it off a guy uh on one of the mazda uh sky Active facebook pages when he sold his car so let's move under the hood so the first thing you will notice is that the hood opens up and holds by itself uh i do have hood shocks on the car it adds that little touch to it where you don't have to keep messing with the hood prop it does have two some kits only have one this kit does have two and it is held up really good and i like them a lot i do have a megan racing strut bar the cork sport uh cai with the cold air box uh the cork sport uh 1.1 bar ready to cap but other than that everything is stock and that's pretty much it for under the hood so let's move to the trunk now you may ask wait a minute your car is bagged so where's all your stuff well I have two slim two and a half gallon tanks so it's four gallons total uh, but I like these because I can tuck them up and I have way more room in my trunk the second question you may be asking is where's the compressors where's the management well all that is under the floor in the spare tie well area all right so under here is going to be where the party is so of course as you can see um, this car does not have a full tire well it only has a half tire well but you can see that I do have my two Vier uh, air compressors and I also have my management and it's pretty much all it is to it and that is pretty much all the mods that I have done to my 2014 Mazda 6 not a whole lot to it it is just a good commuter that is reliable good on gas and to be quite frank with you this is probably the best looking car that was out for sale in 2014. everybody complains that they're slow but you know i drive a 120 mile round trip every day to work 161,890 miles is what i have on my car and i bought it in 2018 with 53,000 miles cars never gave me an issue outside of a water pump belt breaking so if you have any questions about my 2014 Mazda 6 the mods that I have done of anything like that please let me know in the comments below if you see anything that you love on the car let me know if you see anything that you hate on the car let me know you know let's use the comment section as a conversation and you let me know what you love about it and what you hate about it and also let me know if you would drive it let me know would you be caught driving my 2014 Mazda 6 or would you not be caught dead in these in this low bagged economy car let me know I'm always interested to see what y'all have to say so like everything that you do you always want to make sure that you think it that you build it and that you enjoy it and at the end of the day make sure that you are doing it because it is what you like as long as you like it it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it so thank you for watching if you like this video please like it if you want to subscribe to see whatever i'm working on whether it be my mazda whether it be my yukon whether it be my four wheeler my three wheeler um i got a couple of drift mini uh quad videos is going to be coming up you know miscellaneous stuff around that i'll be doing hit the subscribe button uh i don't have only fans i don't have patreon none of that stuff all i want y'all to do is watch the videos like the videos share the videos comment and that's all i need from y'all but let me know that you like the content let me know what content you would like to see and i'll see if i can make it happen thank y'all again hope y'all enjoyed it Leave your comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? And most importantly, would you drive it? I'm very curious to see. So, just in case y'all forgot how she looked, here she goes again. So like I said, think 
build, enjoy, forget what them haters say. Peace.